this morning on Today Food. We've got America's favorite grill dads. We got Mark Anderson. We got Ryan Fay. They're here on the plaza with another round of recipes. Sure to be ahead at your next cookout, maybe even this weekend. Their mantra, as you know, if we can do it, you can too. Mark and Fay, of course, the authors of the best grilling cookbook ever written by two idiots. That's the name of the book. That's not commentary. Fellas, always good to have always you. Always good to see you, man. And Thanks for having us. Congratulations. Oh, thank you very much. No, I'm, I'm a married man. I'm off the market, Off people. the market, ladies. All off right. the market. All right. Got hitched in May. I'm yeah. constantly... And the annulment period's over, so he's in the clear. I'm in the clear. <laughs> You're good. Thanks, Christy. All right, Christy, congratulations <laughs> as well. So let's start with this BLT, because we're going to take, take a BLT we're going to take it up a notch. We're in the height of summer. Our favorite thing to have that's seasonal is a fresh, super juicy, ripe tomato. So we're going to make a BLT, but we're going to take it up a little bit. We're calling it the BBLTT -T because we're doing double bacon, <laughs> double tomato. Al Roker is in heaven right now. This is so we're doing. That's we're going to do a, a cherry tomato bacon jam on top of the oh, BLT. That's what that so we start with the jam first. Yeah, cherry tomatoes, by the way, they're sweeter than grape, especially this time of year. So we've got we've got bacon in here. What kind of bacon do you use? It doesn't matter. Just like a thick cut smoky bacon okay. and cut it up nice and fine. We're going to cook that through and then we've got our halved tomatoes mm. and our shallots. Ah, shallots, not onions because they're more subtle. Yeah, and the, the, so the key here is to cook this long enough to get all the moisture out of the tomatoes. Okay. We want a super concentrated, super jammy flavor. So it's gonna be a big pop of tomato, but it's also gonna be sweet. I just wanna taste the jam. And then yeah, go for it. Once those are cooked through, we do a little uh, brown sugar. Brown sugar. That was Chanel's nickname in high school. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, a little that fresh red pepper for some meat. <laughs> right. All right, now That's for the... Good. Now for the star of the show. Let me show you this guy. So oh. when you're looking for tomatoes in the summer, you want them to be really soft. The softer they are, almost like you're worried if they're going to make it home without breaking, <laughs> is that's how ripe you want. So we're going to do, we call it number two pencil thick. No one knows what a number two pencil is anymore. <laughs> I know. Sorry for anybody <laughs> over 50. So it looks like about an inch? Roughly. Yeah, about a, a little under a half. So, and then the key is you got to salt your tomato and you got to do it in advance. It's gonna wick out some of the excess moisture, which is gonna allow you to have, a, again, super concentrated. All right, so let's build this guy here. And what kind of bread are we using? Is that just sourdough? We're using toasted sourdough. You want a pretty good toast on this because you want it to stand up to some of the moisture that's gonna be in the sandwich. We're gonna do mayo. It's also made of wheat. <laughs> is it really? Yeah, that's what I heard. <laughs> Just Missed that one. Right, yeah. right. <laughs> right All right, guys, check this out. So we've All right, got, so we build, we so build. We got our tomatoes now. This Jam's is the star. Mm. Oh, so yeah. this is our cherry tomato bacon jam right on top. All right. Yep. We've got our BLT up. All right. Oh Let's turn the, the All right. tri -tip. Now to the star of the segment. Wow. Okay, we're going to go to the tri-tip right, sandwich right. here. All right. Woo. Looks like Al's ready to get into this one, too. Hold on. Oh, yeah. You start. Hi, I'll join you. All right. So this is, we're going to make a blackberry chimichurri sauce. Oh, All right. A lot wow. of people make chimichurri, but not the grilled ads. We up it just a little pinkies up. Do a little blackberry. We also do a red chimichurri, a whole bunch of stuff. This is really easy. You got some shallots in a blender. We're gonna add some parsley. We're gonna add some fresh oregano. If you can find fresh, man, definitely do that. Remember, this oh. is berry season. We love berries. It's blackberry. Katie told us that earlier, so we're gonna make sure we say that. Could you use blueberries if you want? Uh, blueberry. Something? So that's a great swap. Blueberries, huckleberry. Like Mark lives in Boise, loves huckleberries. So that's another good one to use. Raspberries are actually great to use too. All right, blackberries are going in. We're gonna add some red chili flakes. Give a little heat. Okay. Oh. We got some garlic. Fresh oh. garlic, and then you're gonna pulse this up a little bit. What about wow. the yeah, we're gonna add this. We're gonna pulse it up, dry pulse it, and then we're gonna add olive oil, obviously, and a little bit of red wine vinegar. Got it. That gives us our blackberry chimney. So All right. Now we have a tri tip. Mark, why is this called a tri tip? Because oh. uh, there's Okay, great. Tri -tip. Thanks very much. Wow. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna put this right on what a, a grill. So what Marriage we hasn't softened you, Mark. Not at all. <laughs> so we normally do, thank you. We normally season it before you put it on the grill. Okay, just guys. Salt and pepper? Make sure. Just salt and pepper. This is a great cut of meat, so you don't need to worry about it. Now, you'll see these huge muscle strands here. I'm going to show you how to cut this. You're going to do this over medium heat, 3, 350, until it gets 128 degrees. Okay. So, if you're like roughly us. Roughly how long do you think that is? Well, it's always about temp, not time. But okay. let's say roughly about uh, eight, eight minutes or so, nine okay. minutes. So, all right. We've I, got some. I want you to tell us about this bread, because when I saw this earlier, I said to you, I've never seen bread like that. Yeah, I think this is called Dutch crunch bread. I, I actually think it's French. Oh, I I'm kidding. It's Dutch. It's Dutch. So, <laughs> but it's a West Coast thing. It's a West Coast thing. Yeah, for sure. Ah. So we're going to show you this tri-tip. Now, here's the key, guys. All right. If you haven't seen this before, 
we got these big long muscle strands here right. all right uh -huh. so we want to cut against the grain oh. okay and then you get shorter muscle muscle fibers and look at that wow. that's what we're looking for look right up. there so we're going to add our we have some whip burrata okay whip yeah, you got that's it gonna that fancy. Is. right I know, it's pretty fancy. We're gonna put that delicious. on the bottom. We've got some fresh arugula, which is always, always, always delicious. I did it the reverse here. Okay. Always delicious. We've got some red onion for pop. And then blackberry chimichurri all the way Gentlemen. over it. There it is. Oh, well done. What's, What's the verdict? Steak? What's the verdict? Delicious. Ah. Thank you. So good. The recipes are on today.com slash food.